Hi, Assalamualaikum everyone. Okay, this morning I'm going to explain to you about narrative tenses. Okay, so what are the narrative tenses? Okay, here are the most common narrative tenses, which are past simple and also past continuous. Okay, so we are going to use past simple basically to talk about a completed action or state in the past. Okay, benda-benda uh, yang telah berlalu lah. Past simple, macam biasa dah. Verb plus ed, things that happen in the past. Benda yang telah berlaku. Okay, the example. He saw a gigantic boulder right across the river. Okay, dia terlihat uh, batu yang sangat besar di seberang sungai. Okay, the next function of past simple is to talk about a series of actions that happened one after the other in the past. Okay, lepas satu benda jadi, jadi lagi satu benda. Okay, a series of actions. Right, so the example, he crossed the river and sat on the boulder to have a better view. Okay, dia menyeberangi sungai dan duduk di atas batu tersebut untuk melihat pemandangan yang lebih jelas. Okay. Alright. Uh, so, dia seberang sungai dulu. And then, he sat on the boulder. Kemudian, duduk di atas batu. Okay. The next purpose of you using... The next function of you using past simple is to take the action of the story further. Untuk menceritakan dengan lebih lanjut. Okay. For example... In a distance, there it was, the village of. Okay, kita guna perkataan was. So, kita nak ceritakan, there it was. What is it? The village. Okay, so kita nak ceritakan lebih tentang uh, kampung tersebut. Okay, so that is on past simple. Okay, now let's take a look at past continuous. Okay, for past continuous, we use it to set the scene of the story okay so when we want to talk about the background the time and everything we use past continuous okay for example it was so mesmerizing the view from the boulder okay sangat memegunkan mempersonalkan pemandangan dari batu tersebut okay the wind was blowing the birds we're chirping. Okay, that is the background, the setting. Okay, next, we use it, past continuous, to talk about an action that was in progress in the past when another action interrupted it. Kita tengah buat something, tiba-tiba benda lain jadi. Okay, alright, so example, a bird flew right above him while he was enjoying the view. Kita tiba burung terbang di atasnya, Ketika dia sedang menikmati pemandangan. Okay, the bird flew to that is the interrupted action. Okay, while, while the progress action is he was enjoying the view. Alright, okay, ni actually revision. Kita dah belajar semua ni uh, masa kat sekolah dulu. Okay, alright, so next. Uh, past perfect simple and past perfect continuous. Okay, this one kita baru je belajar kan? Okay, so past perfect simple and past perfect continuous. Okay, we use the simple one to talk about an action that happened before the time of the narrative. Okay. Uh, benda tu maknanya completely happened in the past lah. Memang telah berlaku. This is something, uh, past perfect simple ni is something like past simple as well actually. Okay, example of sentence. We had talked about it going for an adventure in the Amazon. Maknanya mereka dah berbincang lah pada masa yang telah berlalu. Okay. Next, uh, next we use past perfect simple to talk about another past action. Okay, tadi kita dah cakap tentang benda yang telah berlaku. Sekarang kita nak cakap lagi satu benda yang telah berlaku. Okay, for example, we passed through the tall trees. 
Okay, dah le lepas lah uh, pokok-pokok yang tinggi. We even had slept on bulky, sturdy branches because there, okay, uh, meaning uh, bukan sahaja mereka melalui ke kawasan pokok-pokok tinggi, but they also had to sleep on bulky, sturdy branches. Juga tidur di atas pokok. Okay. Alright, next past perfect continuous. To talk about an action that was in progress for some time in the past, which had an effect on a later event in the past. Ha? Kita baru belajar kan? Cause and effect ada punca dan ada akibat. Okay, so example of sentence. We had been wondering. Kami telah Berjalan-jalan merayau selama beberapa hari We ended up sleeping on the ground Ni okay, sebab tired sangat lah kot Merayap, berjalan You ended up sleeping on the ground Okay, next We use it to talk about an action that was in progress for some time in the past Which was interrupted by another past action Okay, yeah, if you notice this, this is something macam past continuous study. Okay, ada yang mengganggu. Kita tengah buat something, kita tengah buat something in the past. Lepas tu ada lagi benda yang mengganggu, meng, meng, uh, mengganggu proses tu. Okay, so the example, Molly had been trying to figure out the map when Jack suddenly found a landmark in the bush. Okay, dia tengah... Fikir macam mana map tu Tiba-tiba uh, Jack jumpa pula landmark Okay, petang dia Alright, so that should be it The explanation on the Narrative tenses Ni sebenarnya adalah revision From what we have learned Okay, why we are, I'm teaching you Why I'm explaining to you The common tenses for narrative Because these are the tenses That you are going to use when you want to write a story ok, kalau kita nak tulis soalan ataupun writing menggunakan, uh, writing bertajuk story, uh, bergenre story <coughs> kita kena kita kena guna these four tenses lah ok, but again, the most common one uh, the most common ones are past simple and past continuous ok, sometimes we use past perfect simple and sometimes we use past perfect continuous alright ok next ok, ni contoh uh, a story if you know Alice in Wonderland ok, Alice in Wonderland actually the story is uh, in 1865 this is the original transcript yeah cerita on Alice in Wonderland yang original uh, dah berkurun dah ok and the story is written by Lewis Carroll ok if you look at the text ok Alice was beginning to get very tired of sitting by her sister on the bank and of having nothing to do once or twice she had peeped into the book her sister was reading but it had no pictures or conversations in it. And what is the use of a book? Thought Alice, with pictures or conversation. So she was considering in her own mind, as well as she could, for the hot day made her feel very sleepy and stupid, whether the pleasure of making a daisy chain would be worth the trouble of getting up and picking the daisies, when suddenly a white rabbit with pink eyes ran close by her. Okay, so this is the first, actually the first chapter in the first paragraph. Okay, here we can see the purple one is actually um, past continuous. The, the turquoise color, uh, it's past perfect, while the grey ones, uh, they are past tense, okay, past simple. Okay, here in the example, she was beginning. Okay, uh, she was actually sitting. Okay, dia duduk sebenarnya. And she was beginning. Dah mula menjadi penat. Dah penat duduk lah. Okay, and then 
once or twice she had peeped into the book her sister was reading okay kakak dia tengah baca buku okay and then she digging in tai apa kakak dia baca had peeped but it had no pictures or conversation okay buku tu had no okay uh, it's already right mm, it's the book is ready so there is no picture or conversations in it okay and then she was considering dia tengah fikir dia tengah memikirkan okay in her own mind okay as well she could apa yang dia boleh lakukan okay the hot they made her okay membuatkan dia uh, a daisy chain would be worth the trouble okay akan mengubah apa uh, uh, akan uh, is it worth it okay alright so basically this is an example lah uh, when you are going to write a story this is something like oh, this is how you are going to write your story okay you use you are supposed to use the past tense you are supposed to use the past continuous past perfect or perhaps sometimes you might use past perfect continuous all right okay um that should be it for today okay there is a quote here oh in almost all good writing begins with terrible first efforts you need to start somewhere okay so you want to do a better writing always give a try first okay start first all right this is a quote by Anne Lamont that's it the end for today all right thank you everyone